What's going on, people? YouTube land. This here is the uh, Harbor Freight wet saw, and uh, I believe it was $49. You got the block by the blade separately. I bought their blade that they sell at Harbor Freight. Uh, I think it was maybe $12, 10 I don't know. It's cheap. Anyway, I bought this probably two years ago to do a project that I never actually finished. Um, but I'll be maybe getting back to that shortly. But I started another project in the house that needed a wet saw. So here I am. Now what I'm cutting here is half inch travertine stone. And this is what I cut so far. And it may be kind of hard to see, but I mean, it's got decent cuts. I mean, it, it does all right. Um, you know, now I don't have any experience with other wet saws. I actually don't have much experience with saws hardly at all. I mean, for this project, I, I bought this table saw here. I bought this big old radio arm saw. And I've just been kind of learning as I'm going. But anyway, so I can't really compare this to other saws. But I think it gets the job done. You know, Harbor Freight is one of those places where you buy stuff like this belt sander. If you need it for something, I probably paid like, I don't know, $40 for that belt sander. Probably going to use this thing, man, once or twice a year. And then in five years, if it goes out, I mean, to me, it would have been worth it. Um, so something like this. I'm probably going to use this once a year for, you know, a few cuts. And then in a few years, you know, it may go out. I don't know. It, but it could go out almost immediately. That's the other thing <laughs> with Harbor Freight. Uh, but anyway, one thing I am noticed already, this little uh, protective, protective film that's over the little ruler there, uh, it's already starting to come off. And I've, this is all I've cut. I've made three cuts so far. Well, four. I made a test cut of this ceramic towel. So I made four cuts and this is already coming off. That's not a big deal because you're going to want to me measure anyway when you make your cuts. Uh, so I'm not too much worried about it. Uh, one thing I do like how you tighten here and you tighten it here. Now on my table saw, you know, this just clamps down here, but this is back here. It's uh, it seems to be tight. But it's just not completely square. I mean, you have to actually square it up every time. And I didn't know that until I was just about done with my project. And a lot of my cuts like this just were not too good. But anyway, I'm going to try to show you a quick uh, cut. See how this goes. I've got this stuff back here. to try to keep this stuff level so it doesn't snap it at the end. But anyway... Try to throw this on my little cell phone stand here.
All right. Um, as y'all can see, I don't play with my PPE. You know, glasses, earplugs, you know, respirator, the whole nine. Um, I've been doing this project for going on uh, going on four weeks. I haven't been injured, not one time. I take safety serious. But anyway, now people who are more familiar may know, they may say, oh, that wasn't a very good cut, blah, blah, blah. All I know is, like I said, I don't have experience with other saws. I see the ones on DIY Network where, you know, a lot bigger. You can rent them and the, the table slides into the blade and whatnot. Uh, yeah, I know that's going to be a lot better, but you're talking two, three hundred dollars for something that you're going to use every once in a while. And I know I could rent it, but if I'm going to rent it for two or three different projects for the house, I might as well own something. So I don't know. I took the gamble. I have it. That's the cut it just made. Looked like I did something there. Maybe kind of got caught up, but I don't think that was a soft spot. I think that was more me. But it gets the job done. Like I said, this is half inch travel team stone. This is real stone. This is not just some ceramic tile or something. And, uh, you know, gets the job done. Oh, yeah. It's got the little key. You can remove it and nobody can come mess with it or try to start it. They can still mess with it. But you can't start it without the key. Okay. Can't really get it in there right now. But anyway, that's my review. I say it's uh, it's worth spending forty nine dollars on. I mean, gets the job done. Keeps the dust down uh, considerably low.